hello everyone today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create um like bulk sms with um twilo and your next js project okay so let's go this is going to be a very short video all right so we have the input here with our phone number and we have another input here which is a text area which is our message i've gone ahead to set the use state for the phone use state for the message and now we're going to create the send sms okay so what we're going to do is say send no we're going to say constant send sms equals to an async function arrows then we're going to say constant response equals to await okay we're going to say fetch then we're going to say slash api sms this is going to be the api uh, address we're going to use to do our send sms so let's just use that now so we're going to say comma here and in our options we're going to be saying method post then headers content type application json very very simple we're going to go down. We're going to say body JSON stringify. We're going to say phone. The phone number. So here we're going to use this phone number. So we're just going to leave it like this. And we're going to say message. Okay. So you see what I did here? The phone number and the message type. All right. So I'll send SMS is here. So we're going to use on click over here. And we're going to say send sms very simple now we're going to go to our api we're going to create one and uh, folder here bulk sms we're going to create a route.js and we're going to go there now before we continue i want you to go ahead to twilo and create your account as you can see here i've already created my account and let me just make this bigger I've already created my account and gone through this process here. So I want you to do the same. You're going to get a trial balance of, I think, $15. I've used some of mine. So this is the trial balance you're going to get. And once you've created your account, I want you to check over here your account SID, auth token, and your Twilio phone number. We're going to be using this, okay? So let's go back to our code. Now, in our code, I want you to go ahead and install. As you can see over here, package or JSON. I've installed Twilo here. So what you need to do is just to control C in your application and say npm install twi Twilo like this. Okay, and install and it will do that for you. Then let's go ahead and restart our application. Let's close it. Let's close it. Now in our API routes here, we are going to work on this now so we're going to say import next next response okay the next server so we're going to say import twilio from twilio okay now we're going to say export async async function post with our request here then we're going to say uh we're going to use our information like our account sid and auth token i'm just going to paste that here i'm going to delete my account after this so i'm just going to leave this here so your account sid your auth token and we're going to create a client constant like this, okay? Uh, I'm sure like like it's bold enough for you guys to see. Someone was complaining about like um, I need to like zoom in. Uh, I understood what he was saying immediately. He said it. So let me put zoom in a bit more. So once we've created a constant client here, we're going to now say constant phone and message from the request body.
Okay. So once we've got our constant phone and message, let's console log this. So we we'll see if we are getting our feedback from this. So if we come back here and we refresh, let's reduce this. All right, so we get phone number. Let's just see this and let's see body. I say send message. So we should see that on console log. Send it again. Okay, we are not seeing this here. Let's go back to here to send SMS. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I think the reason is because we're not putting a response in our in our API code here. So let's come here. Let's say return next response dot JSON. And uh, here we're going to say message and we're going to say success. Okay. Then we're going to say status of 200. Okay, so now we should not have any issue again. So let's refresh this and put a phone number, a body here, and send. All right, guys, so um, over here, we shouldn't have done that method. So we're just going to see message here because that was what was causing the issue, apparently. So now, uh, if you say phone message, let's come here and say any number and say body and we'll say send message. So you can see the number we put and the body we would from here. Let's come back here. Okay, so that's exactly what we were looking for. So now that we know that that is working, we're now going to we're now going to say constant result equals to await client dot messages dot create. Okay, we're going to say body. The body is the message that we're getting here, so we're going to say message. Then we're now going to say from and we're going to use our phone number that Twilio gave to us, which is over here. We're going to copy it from here. We're going to put our phone number here. Then who are we sending this message to? So in our two, we're going to say the phone number. We're just going to say phone. Okay, so exactly. So with this, we're going to get a text. So now we're going to come to our create react app here. We're going to refresh. Now, uh, message body is you are awesome. Now, phone number. I'm not going to put my phone number <laughs> on YouTube. So I'm going to take this screen, this, and I'm going to take it to my other screen that you can't see. I'm going to type in my phone number. And I'm going to send the message. So I've sent the message, and unfortunately, 
the phone number that I'm using to like get the message is the phone number I'm using to record. So once you send this message, it will go and you will be able to see uh, your message. So try it and let me know in the comments. Peace out.